I mean this in the most respectful way possible to all the old Colorado players. It's nothing against y'all, but you didn't strike fear in me. You didn't look like a real and legit football team. You look like a JV team. But now these new guys, just take a look at this right here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been not one, not two, but three nights since we've made a primetime video. Three whole days without a video on Colorado and Deion Sanders? I think that's a record for the past couple of months. We've been talking about Colorado and Deion Sanders a lot recently because they're the talk of the town. It is currently one of, if not the greatest reality TV shows that is currently going on. I do believe the last time we left off, we talked about how Colorado may be, and it's looking like potentially they're going to be leaving the Pac-12 and going to the Big 12. That was a developing story that is still developing. So stay tuned on that because we could get an update on that at any given moment in time. But tonight, we got a completely different thing to talk about. I know what you're sitting there saying. Yo, Matt, what are we going to be talking about? That's a great question, my friend, and I have an even better answer. Remember only a couple months ago, right after the spring, game the huge controversy and dilemma going on that 57 players entered the transfer portal from Colorado remember that right and then what happened in the following days and weeks coach prime replaced every single one of them but here's the thing not only did he replace them he improved almost at every single position that he is at least in my humble opinion that's the reason these 57 players entered the portal in the first place they knew other guys were going to come in and take their spot it is what it is so in tonight's video we're going to take a look at these new players because they have officially arrived on campus and they are officially practicing and i'm going to give you a little teaser up front already they look 10 times different than the other guys what do i mean when i say they look different well <laughs> you're gonna see exactly what i'm talking about in just a second we're gonna talk all about that but whoa, whoa 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 hold on hold on you didn't think i forgot did you another night another bad time video all right all right i'm excited i'm excited you know what if we can get this video to, I think you guys like when we do this. If we can get this video to 1,300 likes, the biggest like goal we've ever done on this, 1,300 likes, we'll upload another prime time video tomorrow night. Hey, man, that's only if we get the like goal. Trust me, if we don't get the like goal, I ain't going to do it. I just do the like goal so you can let me know if you want to see more content on the Colorado stuff or if you don't want to see it. And oh, yeah, as always, real quick, I need to share this with you. We're on the road to 300K. We are right at about 20,000 subscribers away. If you like college football content, I think you'll love to be a part of our community. If you don't want to subscribe, that's cool, too. All right, Matt, blow up. I should grab up. Now without further ado, let's get on. Okay, I say we just get straight into it. So over the past five to six, yeah, really five to six days, I've been doing a lot of film study and doing a lot of research. And when I say a lot of research, let me break this down for you. I'm talking about hours and hours and hours of just watching film, watching tape. And to go on top of that, I've probably spent about three to four hours just watching YouTube videos. I know what you're sitting there saying, YouTube videos, Matt, what are you talking about? And what are you talking about in general? Because some of you probably have no idea where I'm going with this. About six days ago, Well Off Media, they posted this video right here. By the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're doing. Go subscribe to them. As a matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below because I highly recommend this channel. He posted this video. The Louis Luggage is here. If you don't know what the Louis Luggage is, he's referring to the new recruits, the new players coming in, the new transfer portal guys. And once he, and that's Bucky who runs this channel, aka Deion Sanders Jr. posted that, I was like, okay, I know in the up and coming days, he's going to post some more video footage of this. And when I say of this, I'm talking about these new guys practicing and coming in and bonding with the new team. And just like I thought, I'll show you right here, every single day he's posted something about these new players. Me being the madman that I am, when he posted this first video right here, the Louis Luggage is here, I went back and I watched the spring game. Yo, Matt, why did you watch the spring game? Why did you go back and waste your time doing that? For one reason and one reason only. I wanted to see how this old Colorado team looked before I saw some of these other videos come out. Because I knew that Bucky, once again well off media, was going to show us how these new players and this new team was looking in practice. So before these past four to five videos he's supposed to have even came out, I watched the spring game about, it was probably, I think it was actually like May 29th. I think that's when I went back and I watched it all. And the one thing I concluded from that spring game is that Colorado team looked slow and very unathletic. The offense looked good. Shadur Sanders looked good. Travis Hunter looked good. The wide receivers looked good. Montana Lamonius Craig, he looked good, but we already knew that. 
But the defense, it looked like a JV football team in high school, and I'm not joking around. I know some of you are going to be like, ah, you know, go on that JV high school football team. No, I'm not joking around. I'm being dead serious. That Colorado defense looked so slow out there. It was actually sad to watch again. So I kept that in the back of the mind. It gave me a good refresher before the following videos would come out. So fast forward in time here, ironically enough, on May 30th, Bucky posted this video. Existing players told to lead the newcomers first day of summer workouts. I'm going to show you a very short video snippet in that video. But first things first, I want to say this because it's on my mind. I'm not on a first name basis with Bucky, so I hope he doesn't mind me calling him that. And matter of fact, you guys in the comment section are more than one tell me that's his nickname. As many of you know, I was originally calling him Deion Sanders Jr., so I hope if he's saying this or it gets back to him that I'm calling him Bucky, he doesn't care and it's not that big of a deal. I'm just not on a first name basis with him, so I hope you all understand that. But until he sends me a message or tells me to quit calling him Bucky, I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Hope he doesn't mind. Anyways, getting back on track here, let me show you this short video clip. Matt, roll a snippet. We got a lot of new players coming into the family. You all are the nucleus that got to make it work. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Period of time. We're going to be good. We're going to be outstanding, but it's going to take all of us coming together. Everybody good? Yes, sir. Good. Coach Prime. Guys, y'all know I am about uniforms and stuff like that. We got a few of y'all that well, I don't know why your name is on the back. I don't know what happened, what transpired. Let's talk about that Smitty story. Don't happen again. Fellas. Real quick, I want to bring this up, and I'm not going to pause anymore. I love how Deion Sanders put so much emphasis on he wants these players to have their names on the back of their jerseys. Because to me, as a former athlete, yeah, that is a big deal. I want my name to be on the back of my jersey, whether it's high school, college, NFL, it doesn't matter. It's a pride thing. That is something that every college should do. I'm not saying high school, but every college team should put their players' names, their last names, on the back of their jerseys. I just wanted to share that because I've always loved that about Coach Prime. Twitter, like your name. I don't want to see freak nasty or whatever on the back of your stuff. At because what we're gonna do on a practice jersey, we're gonna put your ads on there. All right, we put ads on there so we're getting that ready for you. So make sure you got that clean so it ain't nothing crazy. We good with that? Yes, sir. Hey guys, let's get together and work. Somebody leave. Somebody leave. Somebody fuck. Okay, so from that video snippet, you see they're just saying, hey, we got the new guys coming in. Y'all need to lead them and blah, 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 blah. Also, I have a question. Could somebody please inform me on this? Why are they putting their Twitter handles, their ads, on the back of their jersey? What's the purpose of that? Is that just something Deion Sanders is wanting to do so they can get more followers and exposure? Or I have no idea why he'd be doing that. Let me know. Fast forward in time to the day later on May 31st, Will Off Media also posted this video. Florida boys, Coach Prime reveals how he'll be coaching this year. Not going to show you anything from that video. You can check it out yourself. As a matter of fact, you probably have already saw it for yourself. But I noticed this comment and I was like, yeah, that's kind of the way I'm feeling about all of this. They got the JV team out of there and brought the real dogs in. And what that person is talking about is something that I also noticed, but a little foreshadowing. I'll talk about that in just a second. A day later, June 1st. By the way, keep grinding, Bucky. I see the work ethic. I mean, this guy's super consistent. Notice this comment on the next video. It's just a 12-minute video of all the newcomers doing drills, working, and practicing normal stuff. KCYJ said, Man, these boys look a lot bigger and stronger than the ones that left. No doubt you can see the difference in the build of the new players coming in. And that comment got over 400 likes, so I like to assume a lot of people, they agree with it. Like I said, when I was watching all these videos myself, I was thinking the same thing. But you know, whenever you think something, sometimes you just think it's you and you're like, ah, nobody agrees. But then you see comments like this and you're like, oh, turns out everybody agrees. And last but not least, on June 2nd, Bucky posts another video. And the one thing I notice is, and this is my main point in all of this, these new guys, and they're just running stairs or running bleachers, whatever you want to call it. They actually look like football players. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I know what all you're saying. They're saying, Matt. What do you mean they look like football players? Of course they do. They're football players. Yes, I understand that can be kind of confusing, but my point is go back and watch the spring game. You don't even got to watch it. Just look at the team. Go back and look at some of Well Off Media's old videos and then come back to the newer ones. I did it. And I noticed just from a couple videos that these new guys, these new three, four stars and some five stars that Coach Prime has brought in out of the transfer portal, they look like dudes. I mean this in the most respectful way possible to all the old Colorado players. It's nothing against y'all, but 
you didn't strike fear in me. You didn't look like a real and legit football team. You look like a JV team. Colorado, before these 57 guys left, they look like a JV football team. I'm calling it how I see it. I mean this when I say it. It's no disrespect to those guys. It's just how it was. None of the guys on the previous Colorado team even look like they could compete in the Power 5 Conference. I'm not even talking about winning. I'm just talking about competing. They look like your stereotypical scrawny JV kid that came make the varsity football team. But now these new guys, just take a look at this right here. They look legit. If you threw another team's logo on them, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's a D1 football team. You wouldn't even question it. Whereas, three months ago, yeah, you'd question it. And what I've noticed in these guys just watching all these videos is they look hungry. They want it. Check out this comment right here. There's a difference between being needed and being wanted. You can tell the players that left were needed by Colorado to have a program, but these guys are the ones that appreciate being wanted. Various came from other teams and may not have been getting an opportunity to show what they can do consistently. They will show their appreciation in the grind and on the field. Hashtag we coming. I couldn't agree anymore. With these guys on this team, and I'm not saying it's different at other teams around the country, but you just get the sense, you get the vibe that they want it. You can see it in how hard they work. They appreciate Coach Prime giving them an opportunity. Because at the end of the day, this isn't football, this is life. All we want, all I want as a man myself is an opportunity. Just give me a shot. It doesn't matter if that's in business. It doesn't matter if that's with your dream girl. It doesn't matter. It applies to everything. Just give me a shot. Same thing with fishing. Just give me a nibble. Just bite the hook a little bit and I'm going to take advantage of it. I see that. I sense it and I feel it in all these new kids. They wanted a shot. Coach Prime gave him a shot, and I like to hope and believe they're going to take advantage of it. It's also been noted this early on that Shiloh, he's brought the energy. Shiloh's energy was definitely needed on the defense before the transfers of defense was getting slaughtered. I like this comment from Fox Life. The vibe has definitely changed. A competitive atmosphere has ramped up tenfold. I feel they're going to shock the world. Going back to what I was saying, anyone questioning the old players leaving, please go back and look at the weight training videos post before spring game and then look at this one. Man, the new boy's strong as you know what. I'm just glad I'm not the only one who has noticed this. Yes, these are the guys. Much bigger, faster, stronger. Just looks like Coach Prime done went out there and got a bunch of hungry dogs. Let's go buffs. I'm going to read off two more. Holy crap, team looks 100 times bigger, faster, and with character than when this series first started. You got some gladiators up there in Boulder. Great job, Colorado Buffs. Zay Shaw said, nah, them boys athletic as heck. Bro, the difference from when the old team did this in the spring to now is so visible. Colorado knocking heads off, I promise you. I had to watch the video again. Man, it's amazing. I go on and on, you get the point. If you don't want to take my word for it, cool, go back and watch some of the old videos from months ago. Three to four months ago, after watching the videos, I told you guys, yep, this Colorado team's going three and nine. But now, after seeing these new video clips in the past couple of weeks, just watching this team grow and develop, I got them going five and seven. It looks like a new team, and it looks like a group of guys that can compete with anybody, and that's the biggest thing. You're not wanting to win the Super Bowl in its first year. You just want to compete with the big dogs. I know you want to win every single game, Colorado fans, but you got to be realistic. I think things are going great. I want to point this out to all of you. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, right one minute!